Um, this is one of the subjects that we've uh, trialed on our device. Um, I hope he's going to walk one of these days. Can you walk? There you go. Um, so you see this patient walking. The system right now is off. So you see him with the system on the patient, but not providing any assistance. We shut the system down. Why do we want to walk him like that? Because we want to be sure that the system in itself is not doing anything that may alter the way the patient gait looks like. And so what you see is that this patient has essentially an equinos foot. This is the same patient walking with the system on. And what you see is first, a increase in walking velocity. Two, we have now a much more control attitude of his ankle and foot and he'll come back. Um, not perfect, we didn't repair his walking and made it normal, but we've produced an improvement. And if you repeat this walking pattern in an improved manner, you're optimizing the walking. The expectation is that the neurological system will learn from that. Um, so this is just brief data from that patient. Um, this is uh, data, uh, uh, temporospatial data. And so the system is off, I've marked it here, walks at 0 0.80 meters per second. With the system on, the same patient walks at 0.99 meters per second. Reminder, normal walking speed about 1.2 meters per second. So you can see that it's not normal, but much better. You also see that there is um, asymmetry in the walking. This is right stance, left stance. Um, when you look at this, uh, you start seeing a shift in that asymmetry. Uh, you see the periods of double support becoming more symmetrical. You see the step length, uh, which was 70 and 57, starting to get more symmetrical, 72 and 64. So you see an improvement in this. Um, uh, again, yes, is with the system on. So you're relying on the system, but what you're trying to do is accelerate the process of learning. This has been a highlighted clip from Rewalk's Topics in Neuro Rehabilitation web series. To watch the full episode, please go to the Rewalk Robotics YouTube page or visit the link in the comments below. See you next time!